welcome back to my channel so today as you will have seen by the caption we are doing a complete makeover so i've had my hair done my makeup everything it has all been going on in this household so if you would like to see how to go from zero to 100 Oh, that was pretty cool then please keep on watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to become one of my day ones because i'm pretty new to this game and we don't have many subscribers so if you want to come one of my like ogs then you know where that red button is huns so i'm going to be using the primark brightening face like bubbling mask it's like a peach frappe smell it's kind of got like the bubbling little shapey thing on the back. Uh, never used this before, so don't know whether it's going to be good. It was literally a pound. I don't have high expectations, but yeah, the packaging's really cute. And I suppose in terms of like sleepovers and that, these would be really like, these would be a good little thing to do. If you want in me to recommend like a good face mask that's going to actually probably benefit your skin, the Lush face masks are really good and they have face masks for every skin type and like what you're wanting from your skin, what you want to improve in your skin. They have loads and loads and loads of different types of face masks to benefit all different sections of skincare. Okay, so I've opened it. Oh, it smells so good. I wanna like, I don't know, I feel like I should take my dressing gown, oh, just getting it, and my fingers start bubbling at some point as well. I'm not gonna lie though, it's like it feels really sticky. And I feel like it's gonna have like highlighter or something in it, which is why it's gonna be like brightening. Like, I don't get the vibe that it's like good for my skin. Okay, so I'm back. I, I've washed it off. Not, not gonna lie to you guys, it's done nothing. Like, it hasn't even brightened. I mean, I've got a ring light on, so my skin might look a bit brighter. Like, and it's, it's all stuck, like, here, and it's really sticky. And I just know that my hair's gonna go, like, really crusty and disgusting. Um, also, I've washed my hair. So that's probably a part of the give myself a complete makeover. I washed my hair. Didn't film it. The reason I didn't film it is because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So obviously my hair will be washed there. But um, yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I'm like kind of using that as the hair aspect of like giving myself a makeover. Um, but yeah, this... You know, coming close, if anything, it's just highlighted my spots. Like, I've got a really bad one there. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointed about that, but then it was only a pound. It was Primax own brand. I wasn't really expecting anything, like, to happen anyway. On the plus side, at least my skin feels like... To be fair, feeling my skin, it feels clean. But it doesn't feel soft, it doesn't feel brightened. So, didn't work. I don't recommend Primark's face masks. I'm just saying. I'd much rather pay an extra like eight pound or nine pound or however much the lush ones are and get one of them because they actually work. So next we are going to be fake tanning. And if you can't guess by the bottle, I use the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam. This stuff, this stuff is so good. It gives me like a really nice, just golden glow. It doesn't go patchy, it doesn't go green. And because it's a one hour express, I like to obviously leave it on for like longer than an hour. Um, two to three hours is the darkest kind of colour, but even still I'll leave it on longer than that. I feel like everyone does. I feel like no one really sticks to like how long you leave your tan on. You tend to either sleep in it or leave for it but like as long as you possibly can but this stuff is so good and I'm actually just thinking do I even have a mitt because I feel like I chucked mine away shake 
And I usually get about like that much and then just kind of do circular motions. Hi guys, so I've got my nails done, put some nails on, these are just the Primark pointed nails, they're one pound, they're in the colour charcoal, uh, these are the best, like I love Primark nails so much, literally they're a pound, yeah you can probably only get one use out of them, if you look after them then you can definitely restick them on perfectly fine. But I mean, I'm not very good at looking after things, so I've got my hair done. So my hair aspect is complete. I'll I'll bring it forward as well, so you can sort of see what I've had done. So I've had like um, a balayage type scenario done. I might put some clips in it for college like that, because my hair doesn't suit me flat. Cause like. I have quite a big forehead, so I've got quite, it's not huge, but it's like, it's there. <laughs> uh, so I've got quite a big forehead, and then when this like comes over my face, it makes my face look bigger here, and then my forehead look massive. So I would tend to have it over to the side, as you guys usually see, because I always have it over to the side in videos, or I'll have it half up, half down, and then like these strands down to make my forehead look smaller. But just for the sake of this video, and because my curls look so nice, and these curls are my GHD straighteners, and I prefer the curl of straighteners now. Like after she curled my hair with the straighteners, I much prefer them. Like it's not as like an intense curl. I also fake tanned, and I washed my tan off this morning. Um, so there's that. I mean, you can't really see because I've got jumper on. But when I have my clothes on you'll be able to see but now I'm just going to do my makeup so I think I'm going to put my cat ears on to do my makeup oh don't that look cute so yeah I'm going to put my cat ears on for my makeup and I don't think the makeup video is going to be too long just because I don't want this to turn into like a full blown makeup tutorial however how much nicer does my hair look like filming and she used this oil called Mythic Oil and honestly it's like transformed my hair, like my hair does not look the same. I need to buy some, I don't know how much it will though, I forgot to ask. But I got my hair done at this place called B V I P Beauty which is in Balby, which is literally a little village near Selby, which is a town near York and York is a city in England. So if you don't live in the area then... But I'll tell you what I got done. Kept my root colour. So my root colour wasn't too dark, but it wasn't really light either. So it's like my root colour is probably like a medium to dark brown. And then I got a balayage done. And it's like a blondy kind of balayage. Like you can kind of see. It's got like blonde bits in it. Um, I'll insert the photos of the before and after because she's going to send me them somewhere at some point in this video I'm in love with my hat when she was doing it I was like oh my god it's blonde what the hell and then she dried it and curled it and it was all came together I was like girl you did good but she has seven years of experience at Saks and then just a year experience at just a place in Selby and then she's just opened this salon and I think it's actually a really smart idea to have a salon in a village because it's so easy to just walk there like I can walk to go get my hair done it's a lot easier and a lot of the people in Balby you'll find will start going to her because one she's really good and two it's just a lot easier it's a really nice salon like it's brand new and three like we've got a main like single carriageway road like running by the side of this village so you've got access from like Selby and even York so makes sense to have a hairdresser in Barbie. And there's not a lot in Barbie. There's a shop, a new chip shop just opened, and now a hairdresser's. Three things. But it's also beauty as well, so they do nails on that. So, I mean, if I had a dollar to just 
spend because I mean this was £58 that's still that's quite a pretty penny but if I had dollars just throw about god I'd be going there to get my eyebrows done I don't really get my eyebrows done but I probably should I'd be getting my eyebrows done I'd be getting like my nails done I'd be getting all sorts done but just can't afford it but when I get paid I might get a few bits done maybe start putting more effort into my appearance and also this brightening mask I know it didn't say it did anything but we're looking pretty bright today don't know whether that's the lighting or what but maybe my hair has made me look brighter i think i might go over a few of the curls like just before i go straighten curls they look so much nicer but they can drop out really easy but i just like this loose this loose curl situation we've got going on this is like the curls i've always wanted and she literally used just some like thin ghds which i have so I have no makeup on right now so I'm going to go put some makeup on I'll film a few bits like the main sort of putting foundation on a bit of bronzer but I'm not going to film the whole thing um, yeah. so just taking a flat kabuki brush this is just one from Zaviva it's the 104 buffing brush I'm just going to blend out my foundation Just taking the Revolution Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer and it's the shade C7. Now I'm just gonna apply that. Every time I put concealer on now, if any of you that haven't watched my everyday makeup tutorial, I just keep thinking of that bit where I'm like, oh yeah, let's do triangles, um, let's do maths, let's make this fun. And I'm like <laughs> Who are you again? What's your name? Sorry. Who do you think you are? That is literally. I, I didn't. I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing, but yet so hilarious. Cause like I just laugh at myself, cause I know I'm just an idiot. And I just come out with weird stuff. <laughs> but I'm just taking a beauty blender and just blending this out. Beauty blenders are definitely my favourite for concealer, just because you don't get a brush like in your eye because I always get if I ever blend my concealer with like a brush that always goes in my eye so I prefer this because it's more precise you get more precision you can get right up like in them corners you know in them right angles I need to stop talking about maths I hate maths what is wrong with me now I am actually going to be contouring just using the Revolution foundation stick in the shade I believe it yeah F11 these are so cute like how cute would these look just like three of them on your side like a highlighting shade a contour shade and then your foundation shade all three just I feel like Revolution just get it right with the packaging I'm just like applying that here. now I find that I can apply this quite heavily and get away with it one because I'm tanned like I'm tanned and two because it's really not that dark like you won't even be able to see it because I'm tanned the real techniques buffing brush this is what you get in like the core set I don't believe they do the exact same as this one anymore which is a shame because this one is such a good brush if you're just starting out in makeup just kind of getting your grounds learning bits and bats the Real Techniques brush sets would be really good for you and just Real Techniques brushes in general because they are good brushes So to set my face I'm using the Revolution Banana Powder. Now it's literally just gone all over my leggings. Um, it's okay, like it's not amazing. I don't rate it that much. However, I have to set my face because it goes oily and I ran out of my Laura Mercier, so that's what we're using. The one thing I will say, this is like super, super yellow. I look like a banana. you that are wondering i'm using the hula bronzer by benefit now i've told you so many times before that i have this one that's pretty much all gone 
and then I also have this one that's brand new but I refuse to break into it because like once you broke into it you broke into it and then it's not like I've got a new bronzer waiting to be opened anymore it's just like oh time to get rid of this one just use this one do you know what I mean like it's like a pair of shoes once you wear a pair of shoes and you broke them in like they're not new anymore they're not fancy like yeah, they're still a pair of shoes and they're still nice, but they're not like, oh, I want to wear my favourite pair of shoes because I broke them in, so they're not fun anymore. This may just be me, but... like, And I can't afford to go buy, like, loads of new things all the time, so... Just got to ration myself out. Okay. My nose is extremely bronzed. I look like my nose is just... <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a makeup tutorial let's just be real about it <laughs> so i put highlighter on don't know if you can see not like a in your face glow it's quite subtle but i, I like that it's just the nars man ray kind of highlighter it's so beautiful though like See, this ring light is so bright that you literally cannot see a thing. But, you know, swatch it. And it is like a lot more sheer than some highlighters. But I, as I said, I like that. So, and this is in the shade Double Take. I don't know whether the only do it in the Man Ray one because I got this quite a while ago. So, I reckon. Oh, God, new face. It's good, but make sure you have a good highlighter brush to apply it with. That is the one thing that I find really makes this highlighter, like, pop, is having a good highlighter brush. It's crucial. Now, Philip's probably going to be like, what the hell? Um, but I'm going to be using the Lulu Guinness Soft Red Vaseline, just because, giving yourself a complete makeover, you might want to go all out with lips. Obviously, if you're out... By no means, like, stick some lipstick on, some lip liner. Everyone kind of has their own personal faves anyway. But I, I like to use Vaseline because I find that my lips get so dry and give yourself a makeover, you've got to, like, look after yourself. Like, yeah, look nice for two minutes, but when your lips are dry. So, the reason I like this one is because, as you can see, it gives, like, a red tint. So when you apply it, like, on your top lip, the red kind of plumps your lips a bit, like, makes them look bigger, sort of. I can't show you what I mean. Like, look at that. Because I literally got it on top of it, like that. That's my lips done. Now, time to let my hair down again. And outfit. So, for my outfit, we've got this jumper from H&M it literally just like a grey sort of jumper with a bralette from Forever 21 and then just my Topshop Joni jeans this is the outfit because I'm only off to college so I'm not like going to super super dress up but yeah this is the outfit that I'm wearing also, I'm just going to spray myself with my Juicy Couture perfume. This one is the Sucre perfume. And just spray myself with that. It's like a really sweet kind of, kind of like a sugary smell. Kind of giving away in the name. But that is it for today's kind of like glow up. I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed filming i hope you like my hair I, I love my hair but um yeah so hopefully i will see you soon in another video really shortly bye